part spooky, part angry, all energy. Let's get into it. Welcome to A Run and Does Music, where today we're looking at the new single from Sister Sleep called The Arsonist. This is a group I discovered as part of a pure happy accident back when I posted the review I did for Spider Inside Her, and I got invited to like the page on Facebook. I quickly became well acquainted with their own personal brand of post-hardcore goodness, and if you look at their discography thus far, you'll find plenty to love, including both their latest single, It Drips, with a familiar Warped Tour Full Sail Stage Edge, and their EP from last year, which feels just like the soundtrack to a deep story. Also, side note, I forgot to say it in the beginning, um, layout here is a little bit strange. I probably look very sweaty, because I am very sweaty, but if I keep the fan out, it's going to be uh, throughout the whole video, so just... I look sweaty, don't worry about it, because I'm, I'm dying. Moving back into things here though, Sister Sleep and its members know how to produce a unique sound in an oversaturated genre, and this is also apparent here in the newest song, so let's talk about it. Let's quickly touch on their last single, In Tenebris. I want to speak on how that song gives off such an unmistakable dedication to producing a mood, as much as it also creates a fully fleshed out song that can be easily enjoyed by those wanting to skip deeper elements and just jam out. This attitude translates to the single here, The Arsonist, in some really good sequential moments. The song kicks off for the good lead into the explosive full band sound, driven initially by the guitarist James, I believe, and it's a great progression. Then there's a transition into the lyrics from the lead vocalist Barry that also manages to soar in volume and intensity past the instrumentals on the first, showing off their vocal range with quick little hits and punches of screamed vocals that really add flavor to the verse. When the chorus kicks in, all the momentum comes together and each member puts their best foot forward, with the drums especially poking out and being noticeable to me with the irregular sounding pattern that keeps it easy to hear without becoming the focus of the section. The lyrics here in the chorus connect lyrics to themes very well too. Let's look at the chorus in question, the lines that is. You and all your theatrics, behavior erratic, you seem to burn every bridge you know, you're poised for attack, your energy jet black, but this is a lesson on letting go. I really enjoy how the second line and second to last line replicate the same sound, behavior erratic, your energy jet black, it just rolls off the tongue, it sounds great to hear, and it sounds good at being sung. It sounds good, sorry. The lyrics overall seem to paint a picture of the protagonist of the song pointing the finger at this other person, telling them, hey, you're out of control, everything is on fire and you don't care. What the fuck? As much as this person is determined to do what they want, burn their bridges and discard everyone over and over, it's just senseless destruction and action with nothing but shitty repercussions. When it comes to the song's structure and overall sound, you can get a big feel for where their inspiration came from. The instrumental parts feel very akin to something off of Rescue by Silverstein injected with the bite of full-on post-hardcore, while the vocals speak to many different outlets and sources of possible inspiration. Artists that come to mind with similar vibes, not so much inspiration-wise, but similar vocal stylings, include Happy Hour, it's select work from even the Dance Gavin Dance, a former frontman Kurt Travis. But for straight similarity, I tend to think Barry's vocals hit a certain itch in line with See You Space Cowboy, specifically songs like And My Faded Reflection. Banger, by the way. I really enjoyed this song for all of its elements, from the biting lyricism to the epitome of modern post hardcore goodness that is the instrumentation, and of course, the range-defying vocals on display. This is a band that deserves more recognition without a shadow of a doubt, and if Warped Tour was still a thing, I could easily see them being the main attraction on the local stop of said tour. For those reasons, and the reasons listed above, I'm giving The Arsonist by Sister Sleep a single score of 3.8 out of 5, or a full score of 7.4 out of 10. And that's a review. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I love finding like new and I know this can be a negative term because I'm meant to be negative right now. It's just the most easy word I can think of to describe them. Small bands. I love finding smaller bands and getting in there in the early stages of their career or bands that still have yet to really blow up that have been around for a while. I love finding those hidden gems. So if you got some, let me know down in the comment section below. If you guys have an album or an artist you want me to check out, I do take commissions as well. You just hit me up over on Twitter under Ray Roni, or you can hit me up on Instagram under I Just Crashed My Car. Message me if we can talk about something, get a commission going, and I can do a video that you want to see. But for now, hope you're having a good day. Hope you're staying hydrated. I'll see you next time.